All right, guys, got a good one for you today. We are going to be comparing two very similar smart vacuums, very similar in price currently. Obviously, the one that came out from Ecovacs last year was a lot more expensive to begin with, but now currently they are both very similar in price, give or take a little bit because of a sale going on, but still very similar in price and features. We're going to be comparing the Eufy brand new one, the flagship from Eufy, the X10 Pro Omni versus the Ecovacs T20 Omni. Let's jump into the video. Now this video is not gonna be a comparison spec by spec, thing that's extremely boring. These are very similar with a lot of the same features. So if I'm not usually talking about, it's because they both have it. So just completely understand that that this video is going to be more about my user experience of using both of these for quite a while and just giving my overall thoughts of which one might be better for you. Now, both of these were sent to me for a full honors view, just getting that out of the way, just to give you a heads up. If you think that's going to sway my opinion in one way or another, they were both given to me. So really it's both equal. Now, both of these will vacuum and mop at the same time, meaning that it will wash hard floors and vacuum carpets and rugs. It has sensors on the vacuums themselves to detect when it's on a carpet and it will lift up the mopping pads, which I'll talk more about in a moment. But when it comes to vacuuming, the Eufy has 8,000 pascals, where the Ecovax comes in at only 6,000. Now, I did not see a difference. Obviously, if you're gonna test that, you're gonna see a huge difference, but in my real world testing of vacuuming every few days, both of them picked up all the dust and dirt and I don't see any difference. And they both will go back to the base station and auto emptying the dust out of the vacuum into the Omni stations. And when it came to mopping, both of these were very effective in mopping. The Ecovax actually has hot mopping, which means that it'll heat the water up to 131 degrees. And as it comes off of the base station, it's gonna be hotter than what the Eufy, just at room temperature. Now that's good for if you have something sticky, um, but in the everyday use, unless you have a special spill um, that hot water is not really realized or more useful. Where the Ecovacs, you have to have it to go back to the base station more often to get um, cleaned and get refilled with water. Actually, the Ecovacs does not have a onboard water reservoir, so it has to go back and get new water onto the mopping pads where the Eufy has an 80 milliliter tank on board. But just remember that is at room temperature, so it doesn't have to go back as often. However, you can schedule it to go back. Both of these you can schedule to go back. Um, I think uh, Ecovacs, you can do six minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. And I think with Eufy, the minimum is 15 minutes. It'll go back and actually wash those mopping pads. So that way you're mopping with you know, clean mopping pads. But if you want the feature of the hot mopping, then you have to go for the Eufy. Just understand that's only coming off the base station and you know, a couple minutes, it's gonna cool down pretty quickly as it's using the actual uh, mopping heads. And another thing, when it goes back to clean those mopping heads, the Eufy has a replaceable or removable tray that you can clean out where the Ecovacs, you have to mainly get in there and clean out with the brush. But at least with the Eufy, you can remove the tray and bring it over to a sink where the Ecovacs you have to do at the base station itself. And both of these actually have air drying of those mopping pads, so you don't have to worry about bacteria growing or them starting to stink. Now, both of these, like I said, can mop and wash at the same time, but if you did wanna do them separately or one after another, you can do a mopping session and then a vacuum session. That's all up to you. But if you do do both at the same time, which most people are gonna do that anyways, you don't wanna get your carpets wet or your rugs wet. So both of these have their mopping heads actually lifting up when it detects carpet. Now the Ecovacs comes in at nine millimeters of lift, 
where the Yuffie comes in at 12 millimeters. I didn't realize either one of these causing any wet problems on my carpet. I have rugs that are kind of like the medium to low profile, but if you have medium to high carpet, maybe 12 millimeter lift will be better for you or the option of running the mopping session and the vacuum session totally separate. Now both these have edge cleaning, meaning that it's going to do this little twisting action as it does the edges of your room. With the Ecovacs, kind of the setting was whenever it wants to, it just like every few days. Where in the Eufy, it was either on or off, so it did it every single time. So if that's a feature that you want on all the time or off, you can definitely do that within the Eufy app, but with Ecovacs, there was like no setting except for Hey, uh, every now and then. So it's just kind of weird. And if you have pets or kids that leave things on the floor or, you know, a dog has an accident, you definitely want obstacle avoidance. Both these vacuums are pretty good in the obstacle avoidance, but Eufy is definitely hands down much better. Don't get me wrong, Ecovax is good, but it's not 100%. Where the Eco or the Eufy was 100%. All the time it never uh, got near anything that it shouldn't but on the other side of that the Yuffie was so good sometimes when I had a bigger mess it would actually avoid it I actually did a test of some goldfish it's a pretty big mess and it realized that it was something it wanted to avoid where I personally wanted to clean up and it didn't want to I thought it was something that it should avoid so I did have to turn off that setting for a bigger mess but my everyday use it was spot on. And what's really cool about the Eufy is that you get this little um, icon within the app. You can click on it and you can, you can see what it's spotted. So it's gonna take a little photo of it and you can see if it's a wire, if it's a shoe, a toy, um, maybe some feces. You know, it really tried to identify. It wasn't 100% in the identification, but it was pretty good. Where Ecovacs definitely Avoided most stuff, but it wasn't 100% of the time of the avoidance. And so just be aware of that. And when it came to smart home integration, Eufy can work with Alexa and Google, but just basic clean the house or go back um, and charge up. There's no way to really to have more advanced features like say clean this room or, you know, just a couple extra things where the Ecovacs worked with um, Alexa and Google also, but they also had Siri shortcuts. So if you're a iPhone user or um, Apple user, you can have, or you can build yeah. special um, voice commands within Siri shortcuts to do very specific things. So you can program it to say, hey, go clean the kitchen and it will clean the kitchen. So when it came to integrations, Ecovacs definitely has the upper hand. And the last thing I wanna talk about is the base station or the Omni station. Obviously, as you can see here, the Ecovacs is definitely a lot bigger. Their water tanks are very similar in size. I think Ecovacs is four liters. Um, the Eufy is three liters. But when it came to refilling these, I found that the Ecovacs you had to change out a little bit more often, probably about every two to three days, where the Eufy was about every three to four days. Obviously, that's going to vary depending on how often you use it and the size of your rooms and, you know, how, you know, just your personal use of the device. So that's going to vary from user to user. But I think because of the hot mopping and that has to go back a little bit more often, at least I had to go back more often every six minutes just to get that hot water. It definitely used a lot more water than the Eufy. But one thing I do like about the Eufy base station is that it is a little bit smaller. Actually, it's quite a bit in my opinion. It's definitely a lot smaller. But I like how the tanks are actually built into the station like it, it the station itself is the tanks so there's no lid to open up like the ecovex and many other vacuum smart vacuums out there where you have this exterior uh shell and then you have tanks in there with the eufy the tanks themselves 
are the shell. So it's really easy to get on and off and it just makes for a smaller unit. That might just be a personal preference of mine, but I did want to point that out to you guys. Overall, I think both these smart vacuums did an excellent job at mopping and vacuuming my house. Obviously, if you have kids and pets and you need the obstacle avoidance 100%, then go for the Eufy. If you're looking for the hot mopping feature because you have sticky spills, definitely go for the Ecovacs. And if you want better integration with your smart home, also Ecovacs had that. But if you're looking at the 6,000 versus 8,000 pascals of suction power, I really don't think you're gonna see a difference between the two. I think ultimately it's gonna come down to price. I think, like I said earlier, these are very similar in price, maybe just a little bit off each other because one's having a sale. But overall, I think you'll be happy with either one. All right, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope this video was helpful. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.